Hey guys, and how's it going? I was helping somebody clean out a vacant property and in the garage was this jumper pack. Don't know how old it is or anything, uh, any history behind it. So I went and I plugged it in and left it charged overnight. That's how they charge, a little AC cord. And the next day it came back, nothing. Nothing works, nothing does anything. So it is more than likely the battery in it is probably shot. I don't know if it's worth fixing as far as buying a new battery or if even a new battery is available for whatever it takes. But I figure we'll throw it up on the bench. We'll take it apart. We'll kind of see what makes it tick, what's in it. Uh, possibly we can fix it, but that's getting ahead of ourselves. It looks like it's uh, optioned out fairly well, too. It's got an AC plug, a USB port, uh, light, air compressor, jumper pack, of course, for jumping dead cars. Looks like it's got a DC out and a little door for I guess that's for like blowing up footballs and basketballs and all kind of looks like a face doesn't it or a robot <laughs> all right let's uh get set up set up situated what we want to go do and start operating the German pack I have behind it I don't know I probably had it about four or five years it actually donated to me from a subscriber they call it the Mac pack because Mac is the one who donated it to me I was wondering if we can maybe back feed it through the jumper cables and maybe we could power it up. I just like to get an idea if stuff works. So let's go see if that'll even work. I don't know if it will or not. Jaw to jaw. And let's go shut it off first. What do you think? Think it'll do anything? Let's hit that. <laughs> Uh, that's the anything. Oh, there you go. Well, that works. That works. We'll find out how much voltage is in my other pack. Wherever it calms down. Right at 13. And was that AC power on and off? Yeah. What does red mean? <laughs> Good or bad? I don't know. It's going back and forth. Cool. Uh, so... I think we're functional. I don't know if it makes air pressure, but at least the, the pump part of it works. Let's start getting a screwdriver. See what we got for hardware on it. I think. All those around her. And we'll get her split open, see what's on the inside. That's the longest Phillips bit I got. Not quite sure we'll get them all, but see. I think those other ones are gonna do by hand. I think I got them all. I'm gonna find out, right? I'm not sure if the front or the back is supposed to separate. Let's get the handle out of there. It's got two end covers. I want that battery to have a date on it too. It'll tell us what we got. Let's, uh, I mean, we just try to disconnect the battery from there. That'll give us enough room to split it in half. Yeah, I think we take that and that off. We'll be able to pull them apart. Apart, apart further. That shouldn't be an issue for us. What about these two guys? Yeah. Okay, let me go get them unbolted and we'll get it split a little further. So you can separate that a little bit more. Let's go check out the guts. So I say that's our air compressor. 
Check out, it's got a little connecting rod and a piston going up and down on it. And what else do we have? This control board for the AC, it looks like. This looks like just a big breaker switch, on off switch for the whole unit. And then it picks up probably power from for the compressor and for the rest of it on these two wires. Yeah, so this is the main power coming in from the battery. After you go through the switch, it goes out there. I wonder what that little one in the center is. Like a little indicator light or something. Maybe the uh, uh, how high the voltage is. And what recharges the battery? So we plug in. I think it plugs in from the back, right? So it's going to be. It might be behind the battery. I'm going to pull that battery out anyway. But so it is right here. Yeah. Whatever charges it is right up there. Let's get the battery out of our way. And we'll take a peek if there's anything else behind there. We'll take a look at the battery too, see if we can find a date or anything on it. And this should be what it puts out, huh? Where's amps? Not sure. I get that unscrewed. Think that's a date? 2016, 12, 2016. Not that old. 2021. It's old enough not to work anymore, right? See if it had any. Sometimes, like when a, a lead acid battery, if it doesn't have a charge in it, left without a charge, and we were in a freezing climate, they uh, will freeze when the water and the acid kind of separate for losing the charge. And the plates will fail. So it looks like. Just, it's a regular little wall charger. That's what it is. Like, huh. and they just screwed it back into there. Want to open it up a little further? Is that going to be a pain in the ass to get to or not? I think if we take those out, then we can get to the screws. Yeah, it looks like a little tiny charger. And if that doesn't work, it's never going to charge the battery neither, huh? Can we just plug it in? Where's that go? I wonder if we could plug it in, pull that off of there, and just see if it's. You know, putting 13 volts out to go charge the battery back up. I don't want to break it off the tab. Maybe we can probe that. Yeah, let's go plug it in see if any voltage is coming out of that. I don't have probes that small for my meter, but maybe we can get it with a test light. Let's try to jump right across it. I should light it up. It is plugged in. Yeah, there we go. Good. Not sure how much voltage it is, but definitely would have been enough to charge the battery back up. And just for shits and giggles, let's go. Yeah, there's nothing in that battery at all. Okay, you know, we did a. I think it was a DR field and brush mower, and we needed a battery for it. And I ended up buying a battery, and I think a YouTuber sent us one. I don't think I used them. Let me go look and see what I have. I might actually have one. I think is about this size. Go shopping. I do believe. That might be our, oh, <laughs> our victim. Let's go see what we got. It's about the same thing, right? Probably look up the numbers and see what. As long as it fits in the hole and it'll work. It's a joke there somewhere. Yeah, it goes, let's go see, first of all, if that even is any good. I'm put info on it. And that's the note that was in it. So. August 5th of last year. It's been sitting in this box. And I said, he, they had sent me one. I actually think almost, I think it was like two people sent me a battery for it. And I ended up buying a new one also. I, I think one of them I did use for something. I don't remember what it was. But again, we can get this one. Let's go see if it has any power in it. Well, it's physically the same size. That's good. I don't know it's got a date on it. What does that one say? Yeah, 1203. I, I, I don't know what that would be. That may not be a date. Kind of looks it though, right? Probably go by that number. Looks like this one's maybe just a little bit more, a little bit more power. 17 amp, 12 volt 17, 12 volt 18 at 20 hours. 
amp hour. I don't know. <laughs> Let's go put a test light across this one, see if it has anything. And it is a dud. Am I using the right one? Yeah. There is nothing in it right now. Let's go throw. Let's go throw a little bit of a charger on there. We'll let that one charge up and see if it does anything. Might be in the same boat. Got a little trickle charger on it. it. Should be putting power out now. The charger anyway. Yeah, there we go. So we'll let that be for a while. Let it do its thing. I'm going to go look real quick and see if I have that other one that I was talking about. I don't think so. It probably would have been in the same place. Let's go run off the other jumper pack for now while we're waiting. It is right, right? All right. Let's, go let's go fire up that compressor. Get the wire out of there. See if we can get the little guts to move around. Which one is it? Not that one. <laughs> Thing hums along, huh? Let's go hook a little tiny tube up to it and see if it'll fill it up. I ordered some new tubes for the pit bikes. Those 10 inch ones. Let's see how long it takes to fill this up and I'm not going to build any pressure because it's not in a tire, but it'll give us an idea, right? As long as it's functioning. Let's go get that. I don't think that's ever been used. I think that's good enough. Let's go find out. I think it was... Got to hit the right button, right? That might be a, a little lube. Did it do pretty good? <laughs> Watch the tube go flat. <laughs> All right. We're right, just waiting on the battery, I guess. Everything else seems like it checks out okay. I don't know about the AC output. I don't know how much that was even going to be, right? What can you run off of that little tiny AC? And what else was it? The USB port? We could probably plug. Um, I got a little charger light. Let's go plug that in and make sure that that works. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like it's powering it up. So that works. I don't know about the AC though. What's, does it even say what it puts out? It's gotta be tiny. <laughs> oh, I don't think we should really like plug a drill into it or anything. Then again, <laughs> why not? Let's just see what it does. You gonna run it? I think it'll just kick it right out. Gotta turn it on. No. Oh. <laughs> Guess it's got a fan in it. It starts to overheat. I think that's it. That's not smoke coming out, it's just dust coming off of this. Yeah, that's way too big for it. I don't know what you would run off of that that's that tiny. You think that color is like a safety or something? Because it was flashing. It was going back and forth between red and green before we even tried doing anything. Where's that fan? I don't even see it. I can feel cold air. Inside here, there it is. <laughs> yeah. Got like a little computer fan on the side of it. But what would it be cooling off? Like this is just an empty box for. Isn't that the empty? No, that's on the other side. I was thinking of the the one that was over here that had the the parts in it. Those parts. So this must be a transformer. An AC transformer. Yeah, we'll let that run and cool off. Probably a bunch of, just a couple of capacitors in there. 
All right, let's go open that up. One thing I can think of is like, you would plug, you know, just like a regular charger in. A little AC wall outlet charger in it. Because I don't see this. Can we go further? Yeah, we got a couple of screws right there. Let's go get those out. Does all the guts slide right out of it? Probably not. Because that fan is on the other end of it. Uh, buzz that fan off of there. I think the wire is probably going to stop us. Fit it back through the hole. that board right out. Probably just unplug the fan part of it. We might get it. There you go. And a little transformer. Four diodes. Not much to it. I'm gonna look real close see if it has any numbers on it so you can kinda like what it puts out. Yeah, I don't see anything denoting how much power it puts out, but it does have an inline fuse in it. I don't know if this is for output, you overdo it, like with a drill. <laughs> it didn't blow it, so. It's only been about 10 minutes, and it is on the charger. Let's go see if it's, it's doing anything, if it's taking anything. Uh, nothing at all. Yeah, I think that guy's going to end up being dead, too. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to let that charge overnight, and then I'm going to go price what these batteries are. I, we bought one for the DR, like I said, uh, a year ago or so. I think it was about 40 bucks, 40 or 50 bucks. I don't know. I think it's worth putting that into it to make a functioning jumper pack that would have a new battery in it for 40 or 50 bucks compared to a new one being, you know, buck 50 to 200. Yes. Yes, it does pay to be a hoarder. Who says this one's any good neither though? I thought I, I thought there was two of them laying around somewhere. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Not very bright, but at least it's got a charge in it. That's a good sign. Maybe we'll take a charge. So we're going to go throw this one on the charger instead. Is there a date on this one? This is 18 amp. Uh, matches more what's in there. Yeah, I'm guessing those aren't dates. Or maybe it's a code for a date. Uh, either way, it's got power to it. It's one of those... Uh, battery testers basically it's got like a toaster coil in it Let's see if we can get on the terminals what it does it puts a load on it let's go see it'll tell you how much is in it i gotta hold them on there and then you calm down all right then you put the load on it it'll uh see how long it holds for it actually looks pretty good this, this meter is always off that it's off a little bit. Every battery I go to check, even a brand new one shows on the weak side of it. Good. I think we throw that one on the charger overnight. Let's go put a meter on it. See what it says for voltage, like a car battery. It, it's not really 12 volts on a car battery. It's more like, um, 12, 12.7 to 13 is a good car battery. Let's see what we get for a resting voltage. Yeah, it's a little low. 
12.5, but again, it's been sitting over there for who knows how long. So what's it we'll do? We'll let it go on the charger overnight, and we'll pick this back up. It'll only be a second for you, but it'll be a day for me. Do your thing, my little friend. Hopefully you'll come in tomorrow and that'll be green. I'm sure what I mean. This battery is only six months old, and I just got done topping it off with a charge about an hour ago. And again, it still goes into the green and if you hit it. But that big battery is even in the yellow. And you hold it there. Just, I think it's 15 seconds. And again, it's heating some coils up in the back to, to burn the energy off. I don't know if it'll show. Might be able to see them. There you go. You can see them turning red. There it goes. <laughs> That's what it's doing. It's load testing the battery. See how good it is. Kind of like, you know, when you have a, a starter on it and you're cranking a starter over. Kind of simulates that same thing. So just showing that that meter for the, you know, the size of the battery going into that yellow is okay. This on the other hand, need wear. This one's same age, six months old too. And you already see it's, it's barely in the green. And you hit it, it goes into the yellow. But the new batteries. And by my brilliant observation, I looked over and I saw a big old DR written right on the battery. So that's probably the battery that was out of the DR field and brush mower. We took the other battery, used that, and then I shoved this one back in the box and put it to the side. Yeah. <laughs> well, no wonder why I wouldn't take a charge and it's no good. It's dead. That's yeah, the next day. We have a green light saying that it's fully charged. At least that's saying it's fully charged. The inside of that, I'm not gonna take it apart, but it pretty much, I think it's just one of these, a little wall charger. Kind of screw down in its place. That's all it uses. Pretty funky. All right, let's get uh, that battery back in there and get this thing all closed back up again. See what we got. Forgot to see what that resting voltage of that battery is. Somewhere in the 13 should be good. Yeah. Backwards. 13.77. That's a good number for us. All right. Got all the screws back in it. Let's see what we get. This suck if I put the wrong battery in it, huh? <laughs> Lights up, it's a good sign. Mm, do we need that on for like air and stuff? Mm. Boing, 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 boing. See how close that gauge is? We know it's what, 13, what was that, 13.7? It shows like 13.5. Unless, <laughs> what is it's supposed to be, green or red? I have no idea how that works. My guess is green and red is maybe overload. Anything else we got to check? I think that's it. What do you say? We hook it to something and see if it'll start it. And how about a 150 horse Merc? That should do it. We want to jump start it. It's going to be the only battery in the system because there's no batteries in the boat. I think we just need these two leads. Should be the ones. All right. Let's give her a crank, see what she does. I'd say it did its job. Let's go see what it's got. Where's test? See what that comes out. See how much we used up of it. That's a pretty good draw too. You know, it's a lot for a boat motor without even having any battery whatsoever. So it's a little over 13. So I don't know. It took it took a decent amount out of it, but it still got enough to go probably jump a couple more things. Nice. 
Well guys, I think that was a good save for us. Didn't cost us anything and uh, we had to find out what's inside of it and what it looks like and what it does and how everything's kind of packed in there. And I don't have any screws left over, so that's a good sign. Also, at that same property, there was a, uh, a train set, a uh, three rail. I, it, my guess it's like a line and nail. I didn't really look at it that close. I saw it had like mouse nests and stuff in the box. Boxes, I think it was two boxes. And I don't even know if it's complete. If that is an interest to you guys, let me know. I'll uh, go retrieve that and we'll see if we can revive that train set, maybe put it on the, the lift table behind us and uh, see if uh, that can be brought back to life and <laughs> set up for Christmas time around the Christmas tree or something. All right, guys, with that, I'm going to go sign off. I want to thank you all for hanging out with me. I'm a little bit fun, a little bit of wrenching. I know it's a little bit different than the normal mechanical stuff that we do, but uh, I had it. I wanted to go screw around with it, and I figured I'd make a video at the same time. So, until the next one, we'll see you then. Later. Bye. What, you didn't think I was going to dust it off? Bugging you, wasn't it? The whole time. So you going to clean it? Why don't you clean it? Jeez. You never clean nothing. Ever. Go throw that in my truck or just leave it back there. oh one thing i want to add to it too um with the other blue pack i leave it charged all the time i just leave it plugged in when i'm not using it i've never had an issue with it uh being overcharged or, or killing it again that one's four or five years old and it's still doing what it's supposed to be doing and i'll do the same with this one go 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 watch something else now it's over it's done okay 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 i'll plug it in See if that little light comes on for charging. <laughs> and hopefully that goes out by tomorrow morning. And green light.